Welcome to this Easy Computer Fixes channel and today we're going to take a look at the Task Manager and check out the different options from the Task Manager in Windows. So right click in your taskbar at the bottom of the screen or whatever your taskbar is and click Task Manager. So Task Manager has different tabs. Now this one, the one you see here is from Windows 10, but it pretty much resembles uh, the one in Windows 7 and Windows 8. So the first tab is Processes. What's the Processes? It's every little element within Windows and the software that's running into Windows that are actually running or being executed and doing some kind of task within your computer. So there's tons of processes that appear. You have two main types of process. You have the background processes. These are the ones that are um, basically not visible for you in general. So they're not something you're going to see on your screen. It's not something you're going to see uh, while you actually look at anything on your screen. But it's doing something in the background. So uh, one example is you know, a Windows update. Windows update is a background process. It checks for updates. But it's not something you will see, it's not something that's visible unless an update wants to install itself. So there are a lot of background processes and it's sometimes useful to check out um, the CPU, memory usage and disk usage of different processes in order to see, or you know, your, your PC is slow, something's wrong, you might see here that something is actually hogging your system, something is having, uh, taking too much resource and then you can try to see what it is. There's in there, apart from the background processes, the different apps that are running in the computer. And the apps that are running in the computer, these are really the apps that you're using right now. For example, it tells me the task manager is open and it tells me something called Cam Studio Recorder is open because I'm recording the screen right now. So the apps could be very useful also because you'll know what app takes the most out of your computer's power, for example. Um, if you have a runaway app, you'll know it. You know, for example, Google Chrome sometimes has the, the really bad habit of using too much RAM or you know, having running runaway processes. Well, you'll know here by looking at the apps what is actually uh, hogging your system, what is slowing down your system. And you can try to do something about it. If it's a software that you don't use, you can remove it. Uh, if it's a process you know you don't use, you can actually right click on it and say you want to end the task of that process. Now be careful, you can end regular programs and apps that will terminate that program. So for example, if I terminate Task Manager here, of course you're going to shut down my Task Manager. Um, that, depending on the apps and the programs, it, it could be a useful feature. Now, if you do this with background processes, one of the things that can happen with some of them is that it might actually render Windows unusable or unstable. So not all background processes are easy or you know have a possibility to be actually shut down. So you got to be careful with that. But at least you get an indication of you know what's running and what's taking all of that power if your computer is slow and um, is unresponsive. And of course, if an app is frozen, well, you get the possibility here to end the task so that it will, of course, bring your windows back to normal. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.